In this video, I am going to show you how to convert time to a decimal value in Google Sheets. So there may be times when you're working in Google Sheets where you want to convert time to decimals. And the reason you might want to do this is because it's easier to do calculations with decimal values than time values. So I'm going to show two different ways to do this. The one is using a combination of the hour, minute, and second functions. And the second method is using the time value function. So first, we're going to go over the method using the hour, minute, and second functions. So what these functions do is they take a time as its input, and it will return the hour portion of that time in numeric format. The minute will return the minute portion of that time in numeric format. And then the second function will return the second portion of that time in numeric format. So the syntax of all of these three functions is the same. They are all just returning a different portion of that time. So let's take a look at how that looks. So I have this time in my spreadsheet and I will just do um, each of these functions now. So this returns six because six is the hour portion. And then if I change this to minute, you can see this returns 30 because that is the minute portion of this time. And then lastly, if I change this to second, the second function will return the second portion of that time. So that is how to use these functions. Now we can use this to convert a time to a decimal value. And how we would do that is with this syntax. So we're going to take the hour function and we're going to put our time in there. And that will return the hour portion of the time. And then we're going to add the minute portion of the time. So you're going to do the minute function, but then you divide the minute function by 60. And that's because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we are getting these all in the same value, essentially. So you take the minute function divided by 60, and then plus the second function divided by 3,600. And that's because there is 3,600 seconds in an hour. And so we're getting all of these into an hour format, essentially, so that you can turn your value into a decimal. So let's take a look at how this looks. So it's hour, oops, not hours. And then I put my time in plus minute. And then we take that and divide it by 60. And then second divided by 3,600. And so you can see that six minutes, or sorry, six hours, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds is approximately 6.5055 hours. And so that is one way to convert a time to a decimal value. It's by combining these three functions with this syntax. Hour plus minute divided by 60 plus second divided by 3,600. Now another way that we can do this is by using the time value function. What the time value function does is it will take a time and convert it to a fraction of a 24 hour day that that time represents. And so this is the syntax. You just input your time string into it and it will do its conversion. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. So I have these three different times here and I will just do the time value function on all three of them just so you can understand how it works. And so again, what this function does is it will take a time and convert it to a fraction of a 24 hour day. So let's look at 2 p.m. here. 2 p.m. is 14, it's the 14th hour of a day. So 14, and if there's 24 hours in the day, you can see it equals the same thing because that is what 
the time value function is doing. So 3 p.m. is the 15th hour of a day. So 15 divided by 24. And 1 a.m. is the first hour in a day. And so that is why this is returning this because it is just converting your time to a fraction of a 24 hour day that the time represents. And now we can use this function to convert a time to a decimal. And so what we'll be doing, oops, I have this messed up. So if you wanna convert it to hours, what you're gonna do is take the time value and times it by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. If you wanna do minutes, you take the time value and times it by 1,440 because that is how many minutes are in a day. Or if you wanna convert it to a decimal representing the seconds, you would times it by 86,400. And that's because that is how many seconds are in a day. So time value times 24. This is now a decimal representing hours. So this is 14 and a half hours. And now if you want to do minutes, would be times in that value by 1440 or if you want to do seconds it would be 86,400 so those are two different ways that you can convert a time to a decimal value in your spreadsheet I always recommend learning both ways because it's useful for expanding your knowledge in Google Sheets. However, I do think this time value method is definitely a lot easier. So that is it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.